Hey, are you wondering what an R head is? Uh, if you have a probably the last generation of cat truck engines they made from 07 to uh, stop production basically around 2010, uh, your engine has an R head on it. And uh, I've changed hundreds of R heads. I've been working on these engines for five years. Um, I know the systems really well and how to troubleshoot them. Uh, if you have one or you have any issues with one, uh, check out this video. Uh, first part of the video, we're going to go over, uh, you know, what is an art head? I'm going to show you what each line going to it is, what it's supposed to do. Um, you know, can you change it yourself? Can you not? Um, after that, I'm going to go kind of into troubleshooting a little bit and, you know, tell you kind of what's going on in your system if you're having an issue, how it's supposed to operate normally. And uh, go ahead and watch the video. Thank you. So after treatment regeneration device, ARD, that's why it's called an ARD head. And this is an ARD head. They cost about a thousand bucks. So if yours is bad, uh, that's what it's going to cost you. That's just the part price. Weigh about five pounds. Uh, not a whole lot to them. We're going to be going over the uh, components that connect to them. Uh, the first two fittings you're seeing, you have two fuel lines. There's a pilot and a main fuel line. Below that, there's two coolant lines that run to it, and this is a antifreeze-cooled head. So here's it installed. You have your pilot and main and your coolant lines. If you remove the head, you're going to have to drain your coolant, or else it'll dump all the coolant out of the engine. Uh, this port here is called a secondary air port. This is fresh air fed to that to help ignition. That is your port for your ARD flame temp. Uh, here's kind of a crappy picture of it. So the tube on the top, secondary air, and then you have your ARD flame temp sensor going into it. The top part is called a heated nozzle uh, connector. If it has a C11, C13, or C15, you have that top port. And right there where there's a blank, if you have a C7 or a C9, you're gonna have a purge air. But this is off a of C15, so it has this heated nozzle port which is a electrical connector that's supposed to keep the head from purging. So we have a heated nozzle. This is on a C15 and there's no purge air line. This is a C7. There's no heated nozzle line, but there is a purge air port. So going from that, we have a spark plug. Yes, your diesel engine has a spark plug, but that is just to ignite the fuel air mixture. And you can see the gap there. Uh, the gap is set by the head, not by the spark plug. The spark plug, which is a cat-specific part, is just a long electrode. Uh, there's nothing to adjust. There's no spark plug gap. Uh, there is one problem, however, with this. Uh, the metal tang that is in the art head, on some failures, that tang will actually distort from all the heat. And you see that little gap? Well, sometimes it'll touch the uh, it'll touch that spark plug, and you won't get any spark. Um, that'll cause it to not regen, and that'll shut you down because your DPF will fill with soot. Um, and then right in the very tip is the actual nozzle. Fuel just sprays out of the tip there, nowhere else. And that is pretty much all the components you need to know about the yard head. All right, so. Showed you the components on the art head. Uh, what are the common failures? Well, let me talk about a little bit more on the components first. So you got the two fuel lines. The main is almost never used, even though it's called the main. Uh, the pilot does 90 to 100 percent of the work, depending on um, how much soot it's trying to burn out. And the reason your engine has an art head is because it has a DPF, which opposed to a normal muffler. This is a diesel particulate filter. So you should never see black smoke coming out of your stacks if you have a DPF, because it's supposed to catch all the particulate and filter it out. Well, the problem is that particulate is a, uh, it's unburned fuel. It's a black soot. And what'll happen is it'll start filling up that DPF with that soot. And it's like a honeycomb setup. And the DPFs are really expensive too. 
Um, if you ever have to change one, you know that, you know, they're, you're looking, you know, they could be ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000. They have all sorts of precious metals in them, uh, platinum, palladium, stuff like that. Um, so your art head gets fuel, mostly on the pilot line, at fairly high pressure. You're looking at, depending if it's a C7 or C15, somewhere between 150, um, well, it's 100, we'll just say 100 to 250 PSI. It's usually around 100 during the, in the initial ignition phase, and then the ECM increases the pressure to that head once it starts into the heavy burn phase. And the temperature that needs to reach that DPF to turn the soot into ash is 1,086 degrees, right around there. So that R head needs to put out a ton of heat. So it gets that high pressure fuel, and then there's that secondary airline I talked about. That's the, you know, about two inch tube that goes to the R head. That supplies fresh uh, boosted air to the R head. And then the spark plug kicks on and ignites it. And that creates your ignition in your art head system, and that's what burns the soot, or that's what's supposed to burn the soot. So let's talk about common failures. Um, art heads are junky, okay? Uh, if you have an engine with them that has any sort of miles on it, if you're on highway truck or whatever, you've probably replaced it several times already if you have, you know, a couple hundred thousand miles, because they fail a lot. Um, it seems like about maybe once every once a year, once every two years, uh, truck drivers are replacing their art head. And that's ridiculous, but the art head is the weakest point in that regen system. Uh, I'd say about probably about 70 to 80 percent of trucks that come in with regen problems are the art head itself. Even though there's tons of sensors, if any of the sensors have a fault, it's not going to regen. Um, it's usually the art head is causing the problem. Now, can you change the art head yourself? Yes, you can change it yourself, but the problem is once it stopped regenning, it usually requires factory passwords to reset the codes. So even if you were to change the art head yourself, um, you're still kind of stuck. You still have to go to the dealer um, or authorized dealer and have them reset the codes for you. Uh, so really like the cheapest way to do it if you if you have a regen problem is say Say they say it's your art head. So you take it in you have a check engine light or a regen code um, You take it in they diagnose it as your art head So they have probably got an hour or two of troubleshooting into it um, You could change it yourself you know, it, it's not that hard. There's, I showed you the lines, there's a couple gaskets, there's five studs that hold it on. Depending on the arrangement, some arrangements are really hard. Some you have to pull the turbo to get it off. But most of them, you could have it off in 30 minutes, uh, clean the ceiling uh, surfaces, put it back on, you know, change it in an hour, an hour and a half. Uh, you do have to dump the coolant, kind of sucks. But... After you fix it, then it still has to go through manual regens. Um, so you're kind of stuck, even if you do change it yourself, in that the dealer's going to have to reset the codes. Um, other than that, you know, that, that's really the weak point in your regen system is the art head. And uh, it's unfortunate because the art head itself, there's nothing replaceable in it. You can't, other than the spark plug, you can change the spark plug by itself. Other than that, you can't change the... Uh, the fuel injector that's in that, that's part of the head. And that's really what plugs is the fuel injector. Um, you know, that's that's about all there is to say about the art heads. Are, they're an expensive uh, EPA mandated addition to your cat truck engines. And uh, unfortunately, if you have one and you're having issues with it, the art head's probably gonna have to be changed. Um, you know, I'm sorry, I didn't design them. I'm just, I'm trying to give you some information on it. And uh, if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe or check out my other videos. And uh, thank you for watching it.